May 2nd, 2019, and then the Autism Delaware uh, to the 2019 Drive for Autism. And it's always a pleasure to have this gentleman here, and uh, what a legend he is, the man who has raced the NASCAR and now being in the broadcast booth, DW himself, Darrell Waltrip. Darrell, it's always great to have you back here on the Voice of Reason Network. Always good to talk with you, and uh, what another great day it is. Oh, it's a beautiful day, and of course, a great tournament. You know, it's one of my favorite tournaments of the year to come up here and Hardy Kempner does a good job of, uh, you know, reminding all of us that uh, this is a tournament about raising funds for all the kids up here, the Autism Foundation, and uh, it. We come because Artie, you know, encourages us to come. But when you get here and you see all the kids and yeah. you see what a great time they're having and see what they're accomplishing uh, because of the foundation, uh, Delaware uh, Autism Foundation, it, it just means a lot. Uh, Again, it's just one of my best, it's one of my favorite times. It, it could be the the best event to go to uh, uh, with your good friend Artie and with Dina Principal. They just put together an event like this, and uh, so far it's been a fantastic season of NASCAR. Tell us about what to expect this weekend on the Monster Mile. Yeah, I, you know Chase Elliott is uh, of course he won Talladega this past Sunday, and uh, that was uh, I think it's his fourth win. But Dover is one of his best racetracks. Actually, Dover and Kansas next two weeks are two of Chase's best racetracks. Oh. So you come in here, you know, Joy Logano's being tough. Remember last year, Kevin Harvick dominated this race. Yes, yes. So uh, the Fords will be tough, but I think the Chevrolets, uh, Hendrick Chevrolets particularly, have made some progress uh, as far as the performance of their cars go. So I think it's gonna be a kind of a wild and crazy weekend. Brad Keselowski will be good. Uh, there will just be a lot of, you know, interesting guy, you know, Kurt, Kyle and Kurt Busch. Yeah. Uh, Kurt's been running great, Kyle's running good. So I think it's kind of a, I think all the manufacturers have uh, some guys that are really running well right now that could put on a good show Sunday. Was there uh, ever a point in your life, all the years that you've, whether it was, I guess, uh, riding or covering the sport as long as you have, was there ever one moment you loved since you've been in this uh, business of NASCAR? Man, I tell you, you know, I, I drove for 30 years, so I had a great driving career. I, you know, you asked about moments. I always think about this racetrack, particularly in 1995. We came here and it's, it had been asphalt. This is one of your favorite places to go, I yeah, can tell. Yeah, let's just say the tournament's one of my favorite things <laughs> to do. I'm not sure about the track. But oh. I liked the track when it was asphalt, but then they concreted in 95. And I don't know if you remember this or not, but we had a, uh, they came here with a tire Goodyear did it, that was blistering in practice. Yes, yeah. yeah. Goodyear overnight shipped in a bunch of tires for a, a Sunday morning practice, I which we've never that. done before. I did not It's the only that. one we ever had, and we had a Sunday morning practice practice here before the race. And Kyle Petty actually ended up winning that race. I so, did not know that. you know, you ask, you always ask drivers about their favorite moments or things yeah. that they've accomplished. They never think about the race they won. They think about the ones they lost. And uh, that wasn't a good day for me, and it wasn't a good day for a lot of guys, but. Dover's a tough racetrack. It's a mile. It used to be 500 miles. Yes, yes. You used to have to pack your lunch. I never We started that. at noon and ended up 5, that. 6 o'clock in the afternoon. I did not know Long, that. long race. 500 oh, my miles. Oh, goodness. So, uh, long race, grueling, <laughs> physically, mentally, uh, very demanding. Well, we could definitely hope that uh, that will continue. As uh, Darrell, we always appreciate some right, better known as DW. Darrell Waltrip here on The Voice of Reason Network. Enjoy, and uh, we thank you again for being here at the Drive for Autism, presented by Autism Delaware.